what's good beauties welcome to my channel this tutorial today is going to show you guys how i turned 30 inch 12.99 hair into a fabulous bomb ass ponytail so let's get into this slay so the hair that i decided to use today is called bloom bundles it's galloway 30 inch first thing i had to do is detangle my hair y'all make sure everything was straight and laid went ahead and Brush that thing up into a ponytail. Once I got the desired height that I wanted, I pulled out my edges for my baby hairs or whatever you guys want to call it. Once I got my baby hairs out as much as I wanted, I went ahead and took Cara Care's Styling Wax Stick and I used that to help me slick my hair down and to keep my hair in place. <laughs> After using the wax stick, I took my brush and I smoothed the wax into my hair, making sure that my ponytail was neat and no thin parts of my hair were not showing. Y'all, it took the effort for me to get this ponytail right, but once I did, and I liked how it looked and I liked where it was placed and it was neat to my satisfaction, I went ahead and I took my elastic band and I used my elastic band and I tightly wrapped my hair into a ponytail. You guys, I can take a lot of tension on my hair. So keep in mind, I had a lot of tension on my hair. As you see, I'm still tightening my ponytail up in the mirror. But once my ponytail was tight to my desire, ooh, I'll, 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 I went ahead and I took my Got To Be Free Spray and I used that as additional support to make sure my flyaways are tacked down and in place. I brushed that in and then I took my blow dryer on a medium high heat and I used that to dry the wax stick and the got to be spray to make sure that everything was dry molded to how I needed. Once I was finished with that, I had to make sure everything was right. So I used the holding spray again. I made sure my ponytail was perfect. I tried to get it as perfect as possible possible you guys okay so don't judge me for using too much spray because i know i used a lot once i was done with that i went ahead and started to work on my edges to you on my edges i use she is bomb edge control along with got to be glue the ultra glue styling gel the invincible styling gel you guys, I use both because I don't like to do my edges every day. So if I can do my edges maybe every two, three days, that's fine. So I just use the got to be as um, some reinforcement. Now, I'm only going to show you guys one half of me doing one half of my edges because it took entirely too long because I was trying to be so perfect with these edges, y'all. I don't play about my edges. My edges are always slayed. So I made sure my edges were perfect. Facts, okay, so you're gonna see me mess with the same little piece of hair over and over again. Don't mind it, it's okay, it's gonna be slayed. And y'all, on this little part right here, my little hair was just not cooperating. Okay, this little curl was not happening, it took everything for me to get this little curl to pop. Okay. <laughs> see my edges was laid that's the goal that's what I was looking for I did that so once I got that done I went ahead and took my black tissue paper or wrapping paper and I tied my edges down as tight as I possibly could and I went in with my blow dryer on a medium high heat and applied a little bit of heat to my edges just to get them started on drying once I did that you'll see me prepping my Care about braiding my ponytail down and preparing for this install. Once I completed braiding my hair down, I secured the end of my braid with a rubber band. Y'all, 
Now I'm gonna wrap my hair with this black wrap paper to protect my hair for this install because I'm gonna be using uh, bonding glue on this install. I know some people may use the sewing technique or the bobby pin technique, but I wanted to keep this install in for a long time, so I prefer to just do a quick uh, bonding glue technique. Once I finish wrapping with the paper, you guys, I use the rubber band to secure the paper. And for whatever reason, this paper was just not cooperating with me. So I had to use quite a few rubber bands. Okay guys, so time for the disclaimer. I am not a professional. I wish I would have wrapped that tissue paper a little bit harder, but I didn't, or a little bit tighter, but I didn't. So I had to use some more tissue paper and some more rubber bands to secure the tissue paper just to make sure that no glue would get on my hair at all. This is the glue that I'm gonna be using. You guys, I used two packs of this hair, okay? Two packs. I wanted a thick ponytail, so I used two packs. The hair was pretty good hair for it to be $12.99 hair. I mean, for what you would expect it to be, for it to be cheap hair, it was pretty decent. So here I am, I'm going to apply the glue to the end of the track and I'm going to apply some freeze spray and I'm going to start at the very tip of my ponytail and I'm going to secure that piece and blow dry it to make sure that it does not go anywhere because I don't need the ponytail falling off before I even put it on. So I used a medium high heat. I think I used medium high heat through this whole video to make sure that the glue was dry. Then I went ahead and I applied glue directly to the ponytail instead of to the tracks just to make it easier and quicker. You guys, I wanted this to be the quickest install but the neatest install that I could possibly do. So here I am wrapping it. And glue is getting all over my fingers, y'all. So please excuse me. Okay, y'all, so as you can see, single wrapping this thing, for me, it took a long time. So I went ahead and cut the end. And then I went ahead and secured that piece because I decided that instead of doing um, single wrapping i was gonna go ahead and double my wefts because single wrapping it with a single weft was taking too long and it was going to be a long drawn out video so i went ahead and i doubled my wefts and i decided to wrap it that way because the tracks were just so long i did not expect this hair to have so much length as far as when it comes to the tracks So once I was finished wrapping this track, I secured the end of it to the ponytail. And again, using 
medium high heat I made sure that the glue was dry okay y'all so now is when I actually got it right so this is the second pack that I used and when I say I used both packs to the entirety I used both packs like the entire pack so this time I just went ahead and I started out with a double whip instead of single weaponry because but like I said it was taking too long so again you're going to see me it's kind of repetitive applying glue to the end of the track sticking it down to my hair and I don't think this time I used the blow dry I probably should have but I didn't yeah I should have you see it's coming loose that's what I didn't want to happen um but I continued to apply glue directly to the ponytail and then wrap the hair around the ponytail until I got to the very end of the ponytail. I got to the end of this again I secured the end of this track with some bonding glue but I also went a step further and I took the last little piece of hair from the end of the track and I wrapped that around the ponytail for just some more security and support Once I completed wrapping that little piece of hair, I went ahead and began to detangle the ponytail, get all those knots out from the wrapping, making sure that I like the ponytail. And this ponytail was long, y'all. Nobody can tell me nothing. So I took my big tooth comb and I detangled it from end to root just to get all the knots out and make sure all the hair was laid properly. Comb, 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 comb that thing out, girl. So once I was finished, this is how much hair actually came out. And I only think that much hair came out because I ended up cutting that track. So after I did that, I went ahead and I pulled out some hair from the back of the ponytail and I combed that out and detangled that. And I'm going to use that hair um, to wrap around the base of the ponytail just to hide that last track that I have there because that little small piece of hair didn't hide the track. So you see me, I'm um, combing to smooth the portion of hair out just to make sure that it's neat. And I'm also using free spray to secure it just so that it won't unravel on me. And you guys, you got to make sure you wrap this part as neatly and as tightly as you possibly can because it will loosen up and unravel. So the whole time you'll see me combing, spraying, wrapping, and repeat. Comb, spray, wrap, and repeat just to make sure that that piece is as neat and as flat and as smooth as I possibly can get it. completely wrapped I took some more free spray and applied it to the hair and took a blow dryer and dried it just to make sure that it, the free spray was dry and secure now I'm gonna take this wrapping paper off and y'all look at them 
baby hairs, honey. You can't say I didn't slay. And of course, I'm still trying to perfect my ponytail to make sure all my flyaways are laid down and that they're not going nowhere. So that's what you'll see me doing. And like I said before, you guys, I used a lot of breeze spray just to make sure that all of my hair was up in the ponytail and in place. So the hair was kind of dry to me, so I decided to apply some OK Vitamin E oil to it. Just a small amount just to give it some shine and a little bit of moisture to the hair. Mm -hmm, I let it hang, girl. So y'all gonna stand on my toilet because I'm short just so y'all can see how long it is. Yes, I love it. Damn, bad bitch alert. Ooh, I slay, and I don't know how to act, y'all. Y'all see me? Edges on feet, makeup on point. If you guys want to see how I accomplish this look, please let me know down in the comments below. I will more than gladly show you my methods of doing makeup because I be slaying when I can. Thanks for watching, y'all. See y'all next time. Beauty gang, out of here.